And hello from Saudi Arabia. We find ourselves today at the King Fahd Stadium in the city of Riyadh. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner, Stuart Robson. And on the menu today, live action from the Pro League coming up. It's Al-Hilal, and they face Al-Izihad. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Well, as you can see, the visitors come into this game full of confidence in front of goal. They best attack in the league statistically. Well, their build-up play away from home has been brilliant. They get the ball into the front players with quality. They get midfield players making runs beyond the strikers. And the full-backs are always ready to overlap. I'm sure we'll see the same again today. at the starting lineup for Al Hilal. Well, in this shape, their two holding midfield players will be key today. If they can get on the ball and dictate the play, protect the two centre backs, it will then allow the attacking players to show their creative quality. And this is the initial 11 for the visitors today. Well, no surprise really, they're matching up here but there are many different ways they can approach this game. And I just think they'll be cautious today, certainly early on. And so the battle commences. He could really get at the opposition. And a decent delivery. Well, four marks to him for that header. But the goalkeeper did his job. It's a corner. Who can he pick out? Safe pair of hands, did his job. Al Shahrani. Now he must favour the cross. Corner conceded, it came off the defender. Delivering it, not the best clearance. Now can they create something? Gomez. Cuellar. Happy to take on the shot. Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. Short corner favoured. Could take the lead. Oh, brilliant goalkeeping.
Well, the short corner routine. Will he find the net? Still alive. Really good piece of goalkeeping there. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. Well, possibilities inside the box. Less than convincing defending. The A goal! On the back of sustained pressure. Now they deservedly hold the advantage. Well, here it is again, and the way they've been playing, that was always going to happen. They've certainly been piling on the pressure here. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? And it's a quality pass. Well, they are behind, but can they give themselves a boost with this corner? Now sending it in. Well, not the best clearance. Threat over for now, it seems. Albishi. Good technique displayed. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. Just cleared away in the nick of time. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Bafetim Bigomis. A real opening now. Oh, really sound goalkeeping. Well, that's such a good save, isn't it? How did he keep that one out? Corner kick awarded. And let's see if this will help them add to their lead. Going short. Gustavo Cuellar. Arega. It might be. And there it is. A two-goal cushion now. And they just need to keep the concentration. Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect and he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. Well, a second goal for them here. Albishi, and he's keen on cutting in. Just wanted to get it out of there. Well, play stopped. It is a free kick. Well, there you have it. The hosts have had so much of the possession. They've passed it well, their movement's been good, and they've been well worth their lead. Could get even better here.
struggling to get it away. Can he make it count? And the keeper more than equal to the task. Not a short corner here. Is this the moment? Couldn't grab hold of it. And a goal it is. But offside is the verdict. Well, it's a good finish, but he was just offside. Great decision by the assistant. Inching towards the interval, and it's going with home advantage. Stuart, as always, very keen to get your take. Well, they've played some really good football up to now. In particular, the way they've got it into their front players has been excellent. I've also liked the movement of the strikers. They just now need to take this forward into the second half. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. Oh, just narrowly off target. Well, they broke with such pace and intent. Fantastic move. Just couldn't quite cap it off. The referee's verdict is three additional minutes. Into the advanced position. Could be. Oh, marvellous save. Great goalkeeping. So that will do it for the first half. And the visitors know they're going to have to up their game in the second, Stuart. Well, we talked at length about their goal scoring record, but it's been their inability to defend which has stood out today. A lack of communication, not reading danger, and individual mistakes is going to cost them. Unless, of course, they play better in the second half. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Cuellar. Gomis now. Will he play it in? Got to it easily, the keeper. But what can they do to stop him running at them? Fine cross into the middle. Well, it's a good deflection. That'll be a corner. Over it comes. It didn't happen for them. Rob them. Over the touchline for a throw-in. Well, they've decided to make a change. Al Shahrani. Al Bulahi. Yasser Al Shahrani. And Pereira here. Well timed tackle. And getting in there to intercept. Moving the ball forward with purpose. Can he get one back? Well, really fine goalkeeping. Good diving stop.
There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes. And now both sides will make personnel switches. And now the delivery. And an effective clearance. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Cano. Here's Carrillo. Well, they're eyeing that final pass, you just feel. Spectacular save. Top-class goalkeeping. Cano. And a creative look about this. Really important piece of last ditch defending. A chance for him to get in behind, maybe. Oh, a nearly moment, but not quite good enough. Well, you certainly can't fault them for effort. They keep applying the pressure, and if they can just nick one, they're right back in this. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up, and now both will rely on their respective benches. Mohamed Al Buraik, Jang Hyun Su. Almost weighing up the opposition with a string of neat passes. Gustavo Cuellar. And on the back of that particular challenge, will the referee let the matter rest there? And yellow it is. A booking? Yeah, he was too impatient to win the ball and probably deserved a yellow card. He continues his run. Oh, that's a really good run. And the keeper diving to thwart him. So the corner played into the box. They'll repeat the trick. Corner again. <laughs> Taken short. Cross blocked. Niakate. It might be on for them. Terrific block. And breaking at pace with Menace. Gomis. Will it happen for them? As eyes for goal! No foul play, says the referee. Substitution time it is. To finish it as a contest. 
The keeper going in the right direction and saving it. They take it short. Not what he was intending. Bad pass. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. And he keeps going. That's a nice-looking ball. And they deal with the threat this time. He's enjoying space. It needs an accurate cross. Not advantage with them. Referee says play on. Not really the ideal clearance. And taking it away. Might be able to set up the chance. Well, the attack carried promise, but petered out. Stoppage in play and a chance for the referee to go back and retrospectively hand out a yellow card. Over it comes. Just had to keep his concentration to the maximum, and he did. Corner once more. And taken short. On the back of that particular challenge, will the referee let the matter rest there? Well, deemed to have been a cautionable offence. Well, no question about it. He deserved his book in there. And that is the end of the game. It goes into the history books as a home defeat. Well, you can be a great attacking team, as we talked about. But if you don't defend with a tactical understanding or work hard enough to close the opposition down, you'll get performances like we've just seen. Today, they simply weren't good enough without the ball.